joining Jackson in the starting five. And we are underway here in Raleigh. Opening tip controlled by the Lady Vols. Here is Jewel Spear. You think about the size, the athleticism, the speed, the length of Tennessee. That's contrasting against Green Bay. Nobody really over six foot. And right away, Tennessee going into the paint. Green Bay's going to have their hands full. They're going to try and pack the paint, play very personnel driven. But Green Bay's a team they like to space you out, five out, five, five out. And McNeil, hey, McNeil, listen. <laughs> For those at home, she had that's her 181th make. She's only hit two threes. She's five eight. That's something you don't see in the game anymore. Kevin Borth is force at the Green Bay head coach talked about McNeil and Jackson at very similar games, and Rakia gets on the board. We've all been there. Hey, <laughs> it take me a few days. I think every coach watched that play, knowing that that could be anybody, especially here in this tournament. Schreiber with the take for two, averaging 12 points a game on the season. Powell defended by Butler. Jackson to feed inside. Tamari Key, big size advantage, and she makes the most of it. Love the execution so far from Tennessee. Schultz, seven on the shot clock. For two. Two of the most rich in history women's basketball programs. And Rockerich makes a nice adjustment, knocks down the three. 16th made three of the season for Jasmine. She will be so key for Green Bay in this game because as much as Tennessee wants to go inside, they're going to make Tennessee's bigs guard along the perimeter. You got to make those threes. Jewel Spear, an outstanding three point shooter, not that time. Numbers the other way. Butler transition three. <laughs> Early six-point lead for Green Bay. It's an eight-nothing run. Jackson on the turnaround, counted and won. Powell on the push. Jackson, Hello. Catch and finish. But I, but, but the team doesn't care. She, she, she feels like they have unfinished business in this tournament. Beautiful turnaround by Schultz. She has a couple of early field goals. Caroline Stripling into the game for Tennessee. Passes back out to Puckett with three on the shot clock. Sarah Puckett knocks down the three. 35% from outside the arc. 36th made three for the junior from Muscle Shoals, Alabama. Three-pointer launch by Kelly Genki into the game and Green Bay. Coach Enfield does. Savannah Wheeler, a heck of a game. How about another three? I mean, Tessie Oprah's handing out threes today. <laughs> 19th trip to the NCAAs for Green Bay. Their first trip since 2018. Their last win was in 2012. Beautiful look inside. Jackson is stripping for two. Start of the second quarter. Here's McNeil over to Mari Key. Are you serious? In the horizon this year. Spear got McNeil in the air, made her pay. Spear. Green Bay wants to push off the miss. They get an open look. Anderson's three is good. First points for Natalie Anderson. So Green Bay continues to spread the wealth. That's a three. They have been the team that's hung with South Carolina in the last two meetings, and not many teams can say that. There's another bucket. Tennessee red hot right now. That inside knocked out of the hands of Schultz. Three-pointer launched by Schreiber. Nine points from Abby. Playing well against another of the top teams in the country. She's looking at her teammates. Let's go, let's go. I mean, you need some momentum here. Three ball can definitely do it. Spear inside Jackson, the double comes. Jackson gets the contact and the bucket, a chance for a three-point play. Terrific ball movement for Kia Jackson, posting up. Key, let her take that shot. She'll pass up on it. Puckett won't pass up on a three, though. That's her fourth three of the game. Sarah Puckett continues to fill it up. Correction, fourth field goal overall, second three for Puckett. And it's a 20-point Tennessee lead. Geyer blocked by Key. 
He gets the rebound and gets rid of it before hitting the deck. Jackson inside, no, and then the follow is good, and one, Rakia Jackson stretches the Tennessee lead. All cylinders clicking right now for Tennessee, Rakia Jackson, hey, just grab me an extra rebound. It's her dream for both her daughters to play in the Sweet 16, North Carolina will have to get by number one, South Carolina tomorrow to do that. I don't know how mom would work out the Portland and Albany. <laughs> that's <laughs> really, that is. That, that's one of those you can't get there from here. I think maybe Portland, Maine to Albany, New York, but no, it's Portland, Oregon. So they'll cross that bridge or that flight when the time comes. Leading the way, but you've talked about Juju and a Hidalgo you see today. Just the outstanding freshman, Alicia Cole Wiley for South Carolina. Jackson the trail. Puckett settles for three. Tamari Key inside offensive rebound. Darby for three. She's in the double figures now with 11. Fouls on the other end. And just back to Tamari Key. Little shot fake for Tess Darby. One thing you know about Green Bay, if you follow their success through the years, Rakia Jackson and one that Green Bay won't stop. It's for Kelly Harper. Great find from Hollingshed. This is the cutting that we're accustomed to seeing on the other side. Hollingshed on the turnaround. First points for Hollingshed, so she joins the scoring party for Tennessee. Schreiber. Stopped by Powell, still gets off a shot and gets it to go. Matt Schreiber into double figures with 11. She's leading Green Bay in scoring. And then a turnover. One thing if you're Tennessee, you've got a big 30 point lead, but you want to be sure you are crisp down the stretch. Powell, Jackson. McNeil to Anderson off balance. First points of the second half for Natalie Anderson. Tough shot. Jules, going your way. Jules Spear had not scored since scoring 11 in the second quarter. Had great difficulty there. Avery Strickland into the game comes back the other way for Tennessee. Down 23 in the first half. And, and to their credit, they fought all the way back to have that lead. And I thought that second half team for Tennessee. Of the second half, they outscored South Carolina, undefeated South Carolina, 50 to 38 in the second half and it would have been 50 to 35 were it not for a bank three at the buzzer. McNeil inside of five to play. Drakowitz no, but sticks with it, he gets the follow. Mimi Collins, she's in her sixth year of college basketball, which has become the norm. We've seen that pay dividends in this tournament. Some of the older veteran players Schreiber also a junior. Hollingshed turning inside. Count it and the foul. A chance. Inside of three minutes to go. Anderson. Too strong. Kaya Wynn's got the rebound. Wynn on the drive. Off the window for two. Kaya Wynn gets her first point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten different scores for Tennessee. Westine gets her first points for the Phoenix. Two minutes to go here at Reynolds Coliseum. Game one up two today. Ooh, look at that. Westine, the freshman. Get your minutes in. Congratulating her players, her staff. An impressive performance for Tennessee. They are moving on in the NCAA tournament. An impressive win over Green Bay. 92-63 the final.